Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Eastern time, not daylight. We're off of that now. We're not on that deal anymore. No more of that daylight savings time stuff. Anyway, uh, hey, welcome to the program. Uh, it's uh, uh, a uh, Tuesday, and then tomorrow will be Wednesday, and then that's it for this week because we're going to take two days off to celebrate uh, what happens with the turkey. Uh, and uh, speaking of turkeys, ladies and gentlemen, let me um, go here. Uh, to, um, uh, well, you haven't got your camera on there. There you go. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I've got to do this. And there he is. Okay. Hello to Phil Meyer. Hi, Phil. How you doing? Yeah. Uh, I just did an update. And now everything looks a little different. Oh, listen, don't ever do updates just before you go on the air. Don't that was you a couple know? of hours ago. Uh, oh, a couple <laughs> hours ago. Well, I don't know. I I only do d updates on weekends, okay? Yeah. And then I have two days to clear up whatever crap has been thrown into the system. Yeah. Zoom has an update about every other day. Uh, Zoom? Yeah. Do they really? I haven't noticed. Are you doing it automatically? It might be doing it automatically. I don't know. You know. But I notice that anytime they they upgrade something, it's always worse than it was before. <laughs> yeah. Well, now I'm uh, I'm not seeing the screen as large as I used to, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I have a new family. You have a new family? Yeah, I, I joined the IKEA family, so uh, that's uh, who I'll be celebrating Thanksgiving with. You're going to celebrate Thanksgiving with the IKEA. Yeah, just Online, you know, I'll look at desks oh, oh. and chairs. Oh, and good. Well, that's a good. Yeah. Oh, hey, look what just happened to me. You ever have a fingernail just go? I guess I should have cut that one a while back. Hold on a second. Tear it? Huh? Tear it. Did you tear it? Yeah, I tore it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, where is oh, Hold on a second. Where is that thing? Huh, I lost it. Well, there's another way of doing it. Eh, I can't find it. Eh, why waste my time on it? Hold on a second. No, don't do that. <laughs> It'll go too far. It'll end up going to the quick, and you will not be a happy camper. Well, that's not working that well. Hold on a second. I gotta find this. Uh, uh, the um... here it is. I found it. Oh, good. Okay, here I am. Hey, I got it's an impression for Joe where people are doing their fingernails. Okay, but I had to do that because it, it it what what? And nope. I'm not spreading Joe. COVID with my fingernails. Come on, Joe Biden, huh? Joe Biden. Oh, that's a Biden mask, Come on, isn't it? Man. Yeah, that's <laughs> a Biden mask, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That that's going to become the most fashionable mask in America. You know. I, I think so. You know, I found a place that mm -hmm. sells these really comfortable masks. And uh, I've, I've bought them now for a bunch of people because they don't fog your glasses. Uh, I get them at a store called 5.11. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How do they not fog your glasses? These are so well fitted that, uh, here, I'll, I'll put it on. <laughs> no fog. No fog. And, and what, uh, is there a name for them or do they just call uh, them no yeah, fog? They sell yeah. them, uh, they're nine ninety nine for a package of two and you can get them online. For a package of two? Yeah, I, 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 um, I have about six or eight of them and we wash these every day. Uh, you know, I, I'll wear one, it gets washed, uh, and I'll wear another one and we'll, we'll cycle them around. Uh, and uh, they're... They're extremely comfortable. Everybody that I've given a set of these to uh, has has really been happy with. Well, them. I mean, ninety nine bucks for two. Oh, what is... nine dollars and ninety nine. Oh, 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 okay, all right. Ten Let's... bucks. Ten bucks. Send me the link. I'll go. I'll buy them. 
because yeah. Marjorie's been complaining about the masks that you know these are fog extreme, you up. extremely comfortable and it's difficult to fog your mask. Yeah. Uh, you know, if it's cold enough out, uh, you can get a little bit of fog, but it's it's not like. Uh, uh, the blinding fog that I had been getting with the N95 or uh, the surgical masks. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, send me the link on that because uh, okay. Marjorie would definitely want me to get them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know, there's, uh, uh, there's stuff going on. Uh, Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, was supposed to go to a legal update on Sunday for my shooting group. And it was going to be conducted in the shul. And I know that most of these people don't wear masks. Ooh, so okay. I decided not to go. Yeah, right. Do you, know, do you know what the Orthodox Jews are doing here in New 15 York? 15 grand they're trying to raise for the fine. <laughs> they're trying <laughs> to? Like, really? They're well, the, you remember uh, uh, in March, I think there was a, a wedding in uh, Brooklyn. Well, that was it. Right. That was and it. 7,000 people with no masks. That's some wedding. Can you imagine how many knishka, knishas you'd have to have at a wedding like that? Yeah. Two per person, that's 14,000. Can you imagine all the chafe, chafing dishes? Yeah, you know, yeah. And, and pens. And oh, pens. no, that's bar no, mitzvahs. That's bar mitzvahs. <laughs> so, no, I mean, and, come on. You know, I mean, have some respect for people, you know? I mean, well, I, you know, you, you, can't, you can't just single out the Hasidim. The reason being is you had protests in Seattle. You had all sorts of stuff where people weren't wearing masks. Mm -hmm. And for uh, uh, not Dinkins, he just died uh, for um, uh, who's your mayor? Uh, 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 de Blasio. De Blasio. For de Blasio to go after the Hasidic Jews, he's got a hard on for Hasidim. And uh, I don't know. I don't think he does particularly. I do. You know, yeah. I do because they're. This is what they are. They they're selfish uh, members who uh, 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 of some community, but not ours. You know. Uh, well, you know, I have um, uh, been doing my uh, my uh, security patrol for uh, Orthodox uh, uh, Chabad's, and I have found that. These people are just genuinely welcoming, and now I don't know that they're Hasidim. Well, well they're, they're not Hasidim. These guys. This is a certain beards, well, the, 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 this. The seven thousand wedding was some kind of cult. It, it, they aren't even Lubavitcher Jews. They're, they're. It's another sect, you know. Yeah. And they're all. They all hang out there in Brooklyn and have sect with each other. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a little joke, folks. And I sect with called. each other. Yeah. yeah. But, um, uh, so just to continue the story, so I, I didn't go to this function mm -hmm. in, uh, at, a, at a shul, mm -hmm. uh, I, and now with Thanksgiving coming up, Faye is saying, hey, you know, it's going to be my daughter and my granddaughter, and I said, I'm not going. You know, it's, it's just, why should I expose myself when we're so close to a vaccine? Yeah. And, you know, with all my comorbidities, I figured... Hey, it wasn't yeah, we're, we're, we're comorbidity central. You more yeah. than me, actually. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, you don't have diabetes. Yeah. I one up you there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and I I, you, I I have a little bit of a weight problem, but not a severe one. You're you're a little heavier than I am. You know? well, yeah, uh, and I, I have to lose it. You know, it, we're it's having some people over. We're having yeah. two other people over. Shecky, who I know, and. Natalia, who Marjorie knows really well, and we know where they've been and what they've done. You know? Well, aren't there uh, limits on on gatherings? Well, they, they say the you should not have more than ten people, but it's better if you don't have any at all. Every yeah. time you add one to the equation, you, you're taking a chance. But if you know who they are, and I'm I'm taking temperatures of everybody as they come in the door. You know, I'm going to make sure. And, and these are people I trust and love and care about. But you don't know who they've been exposed to. Right. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and I'm not a, I'm not, I don't fear stuff, but I just think maybe it's not a smart move there. And especially in Northern California, there's been so many additional cases. Yeah. Uh, uh, all the counties are now purple. But if I was uh, uh, Newsom or uh, some other elite politician, I would be able to go to any restaurant I wanted to and yeah. gather with as many people as yes, I wanted. Yes, right, exactly. Do you know that yeah. Newsom is now, there are a whole bunch of people getting together. They want to recall him for that. Uh, 
that's been going on for a long time, but yeah, but this, now, now they got something to nail them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know, I was of the opinion, similar to you, when people said early on that they wanted to recall Newsom, and I said, well, look, then don't vote for him next time. And uh, you know, he was recalled. Right. Leave right. Alone. right. Uh, uh, I got some backlash on that especially from my conservative friends. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, uh, if everybody who ever becomes governor of the state of, uh, of California is suddenly subject to recall, he's never going to, nobody's ever going to get anything done. Right. You know, and, and just let the guy, he got elected, let him serve his term out. You got your chance in four years, you know, and then you can take care of it. But now this thing with him going to the uh, French laundry, which is not a laundry and it's not French, French. <laughs> uh, uh, in fact, I uh, I tried to go there once. Very difficult to get a table. Uh, if you're not Alex Bennett, there's a one year waiting list. And if you are Alex Bennett, there's a two year waiting list. So. <laughs> really, bada boom. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so I mean, you know, it's it's quite a um, you know quite a thing is going on with uh, with Newsom, and I'm you know I kind of like Newsom, but I'm getting to just not like him much. Well, uh, then there's also Murphy in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. What's his? Uh, oh, yeah. He well, no, he didn't do anything. He, uh, he was he, he was for something. No, he was in a restaurant. Yeah, that's he it. and his family. So, right. you know, where they've been, you know, they're there, your pod. OK, sitting at a table which was socially distant from other people. OK, and they were eating. He didn't have his mask on because it's very hard to get food to go through one of those masks. You know, you pick it and put it through the side and get a straw. Not this one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and and uh, uh, somebody came up and started giving him a bad time while he was eating. You know, because you know, he because he was closing down, you know, restaurants and bars and things right. like that. Well, that, and, that stuff's got to stop. And you know yeah, why? Yeah. Uh, remember what they did to, um, uh, was it Sarah Huckabee? Mm-hmm. Uh, when uh, she and her family went to a restaurant in yeah. Washington, D.C.? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it, it's been called for, uh, uh, who is that, um, uh, Barbara, uh, not Barbara Walters, um, uh, Barb, was it Barbara Lee or, uh, she, I think she's my congresswoman mm -hmm. in, in this area, not Barbara Lee, somebody else. But she had said that you should go after these politicians at their homes, at their restaurants. They shouldn't have a free moment. And you know what? That's, that's not the way to operate. And uh, it's uh, you, you got to have you got to have some respect for other yeah, people. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with you on that, except that I violated that rule a long time ago when I heckled um, when I uh, heckled uh, Kissinger. Yeah. Was it Kissinger? Yeah, I think it was Kissinger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, years ago, I was at a show um, uh, and it was Peter Cook and Dudley Moore here in New York. And uh, right in front of me, row in front of me, was Henry Kissinger. And so at the end of the show, they come out and they say, uh, is there a doctor in the house? You know, yeah, it's a joke. Was... And uh, he stands up and I boo him, along with some other people in the audience. And some people jump me right? because was I that booed similar, him. Was that a similar thing to the Hamilton deal? Well, with well, the... well, you see, this is different. This is different because, you know, there were people at this time, if you remember, there were a lot of guys being killed in Vietnam. Right. And, and that administration was allowing the war in Vietnam to continue. And so I felt you can't in that case, you can't let these people go anywhere without being reminded. There are people that are, are really disappointed in what you've done where the war is concerned. And, and so I did, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I got jumped. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. yeah, well, that's free speech. For Properly you. throttled for booing Henry Kissinger. Well, uh, I tried and I set up a GoFundMe last night. Not yet. Yeah, tell that story because I don't get what happened. I, I don't either at this point. Okay. First of uh, all, you had a bet with uh, Robert. Right. For and 20 he, bucks. And he said, give the 20 bucks to cancer. Right. All right. Yeah. In so, Ronnie's name. Well, no. So you, you decided to do, go one better than that. I gave a hundred bucks. You gave a hundred bucks, but you also did one other thing. What was that? You started to go fund me. Oh, that's true. Her name. Uh, it's, but uh, the deal with Robert was 20 bucks to cancer in uh, Ronnie's name. Mm -hmm. So uh, I said, okay, well, this is one way to do it. I'll set up a GoFundMe 
for not a lot of money, $150. And I gave $100 uh, to, uh, to honor my bet mm-hmm. and to, uh, and, and to do, the, do a nice thing. Mm-hmm. So I put the thing up uh, last night. Uh, thank you for the picture, by the way. And yeah. I, um, oh, let me, that's, uh, I don't know why my, I, I forget to turn the ringer off. So uh, I put the thing up. And this morning I go to look at it and it says that there's no link. So I write uh, 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 GoFundMe and I said, what's what's going on? I think I might not have set it up right. I said it was for cancer research and those were drop down things that you could do, but it wasn't to a specific cancer research. So they they said, we're sending you your money back and uh, we've cancel the link so i think i have to set it up again Mm -hmm. and i have to do it to a specific group Uh, i'm I'm not i'm not sure how it works i thought they'd handle that for me uh yeah i i I don't understand it either but you know it's par for the course yeah i mean uh today uh, i went to my dentist so i took a lift down Mm-hmm. And because of the fact that there are now 45 people dead today in uh, in New York as a result of COVID, uh, I decided to take a lift back and I order it up and I'm sitting there and it says, two minutes, be here in two minutes, be here in two minutes, be here in two minutes. 20 minutes later, it hasn't arrived yet. Yeah. So I just wrote a note to the guy and said, cancel. And I went and grabbed the cab. Now, as I'm driving home, there is a message in my mailbox from Lyft saying that a driver has complained that I wasn't wearing a mask. Tell me you never showed up. Well, <laughs> I mean, to begin with, it was at, at noon about that time I ordered the thing. I'm just wondering why all of a sudden I, you know, uh, what, I, what? I, I, so I had to get a hold of them and say, please take that off my account. I did not. I always wear a mask. I was wearing it. The only thing I did at one point while I was in there, I had to blow my nose, so I kind of brought it down, you know, did that. But then I put it right back up again. It wasn't, you know, I, 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 that was on the earlier ride. Okay. I don't think that's what did it. I think it, somehow something got glitched. But I, and, and then all of a sudden it looks like I've ordered another uh, when I didn't, that one didn't come. They suddenly ordered me one. Well, I didn't want one. I had already left. Oh, it was just I've ne- I never had an, any kind of mess with Lyft, and now it was just nothing but one problem after another. So, well, I've only taken Uber twice, mm-hmm. and it was someone else who had ordered it. Yeah, uh, I don't really know how to do it. You know, I had I had the app. I've mm-hmm. never used it. And well, uh, I like I like Lyft better. I just think their app works better, and you know, I just. I just like it better, but that's me. Now, listen. Let's. Uh, we only got a couple minutes left. About five minutes left here. I want to want to find out uh, your thinking on uh, what's happening. You know, I mean, uh, your your, uh, your guy you know, your guy looks like he's finally giving up. Uh, I don't think so, <laughs> uh, and, and he's certainly not going to uh, give up before uh, the Georgia runoffs. Uh, and the, you know, it's a funny thing. A lot of people, I'm friends with a lot of not uh, liberal people, I guess, or Biden supporters. I don't know why. Well, I, I don't I, I don't know why they're friends with you, but go ahead. Well, anyway, it, it's possibly because they, you know, they, they want to see if I'm, you know, for real. But they're always asking me uh, or trying me to uh, to get me to admit that uh, Trump has lost. It, it seems to be either it's a game mm-hmm. or it's, uh, you know, it. it they're trying it's to kind of the same pig. thing as inviting a Jew over and trying to get him to eat pork. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, I, uh, you know, I, a, I don't believe it was, um, uh, it was, um, uh, who was the uh, English uh, guy that uh, during, uh, during world war two uh, was, uh, was the leader Churchill. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had a short speech that he'd given to his alma mater. And mm-hmm. he says, never give up, never give up persevere and they say that the only way that you can fail is to quit if you don't quit you yeah, don't but fit. you know it wasn't in the best interest of the country to not 
let him start right. getting all the information he had to get and, you know, things like that, because we have a lot of issues that have to be dealt with. And he has to hit have his, he has to hit the ground running the day after uh, of the inauguration. You know, uh, you know, I would assume that his plan is to allow him to start getting his information after he uh, is certified. And the uh, you know, the the other thing is Biden is the one that sort try to sabotage Trump. Uh, with um, uh, the dossier, the Logan Act. And, I don't and, believe, if I'm correct on this, and I think I am, uh, uh, Biden had nothing to do with the Steele dossier. That was that goes all the way back, goes all the way back to Clinton, to Hillary Clinton. It was when her campaign, when she was running. That I think they and maybe they initiated that or whatever. It had nothing to do with Biden. Well, he also was the one that suggested the Logan Act, and everybody was trying to cover their tracks in the last days of the uh, of the transition. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, as well as uh, Biden uh, uh, did a, a number of uh, FISA, he looked at a number of FISA investigations, ordered them up uh, on Trump and his associates. How can he? He can't order up FISAs. Yeah, he he, uh, he can't. He, he, no, he, he can't. He did some investigations. Uh, to I, the best I, of I, I never heard anything like that. I never well, heard anything like that. You don't but, listen to conservative media. No, now. I don't listen. I, you know, I went over and I watched. Uh, what was I, I was telling the story the other day? Went over and watched uh, Newsmax. Okay, and I got to tell you, that's like another world over there. Uh, they, they, yeah. They're still the. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Biden hasn't won the electoral college over there yet. Well, and it, and and they're they're saying that it looks like Trump's going to win. Now, come on, you know, I mean, it, 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 give up, you know. Now, I mean, I, maybe you don't have to. Nobody says you have to like Biden, but give up on trying to say, hey, uh, Trump won. Do you remember when Trump uh, got the uh, had won, but he hadn't been confirmed by the electors yet? And uh, I think you were talking about this the other day. What was called. Um, uh, not uncommitted elector, but or friendly, unfriendly. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but yeah, I forget what it's called. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, well, anyway, they were uh, de Democrats were saying, well, let's hope that enough electors turn mm -hmm. and don't confirm Trump. Uh, you know, you, so when Hillary lost, those same same arguments were being played out, and uh, people were hoping beyond hope that something would happen. That would take Trump down, and no, I, I remember that election, and I think when he won, we didn't like it because he lost. He lost by three million votes, but he won by the electoral college. Sure. Uh, now it's like almost six million votes. I, I wonder if he's beginning to admit that maybe America didn't like him this time. So know? well, a ten million more liked him than liked him last time. Yeah, yeah, but. You know, there's there's the divide is mm -hmm. I don't think Trump is done. Yeah. Or first of all, he's got a Twitter account with, what, 80 some odd million followers. Yeah. Number, one. Number two, 73 million people voted for him. Ten million more than voted for him the first time. Yeah. But five, uh, I, but, but five or six million less than voted for Biden. Right. Well, most of those were dead. Uh, oh, or, they were dead. Oh, OK. All right. I, I admit that I. I went around registering dead people to make sure that, you know. Uh, you know, the, the other thing is, you, you look at some of our your panel, you've got Kevin and a number of other people. Yeah. They're, they're, running, they're running the, uh, uh, you know. Yeah, the, you know, no, we, we, the fix was in. I, yeah. I, as the head of Antifa, I made yeah. sure the fix was in. Hey, listen, we're run, we've run out of time here. All uh, right. Just as you're on a roll or an imaginary roll. Imaginary role. Well, yeah. it, it's uh, you know, it's Tuesday. It must be filling out. So. Yes, it must be filling out. You know, who it's going to be tomorrow night in this spot. Uh, no. Will Durst. Uh, is he is he uh, uh, able to communicate? He's been able to communicate all along. It's just he can't get out of bed and he can't walk and he can't use the right the left side of his body. But he's still got it. You know. Well. I, and everybody will get to see it tomorrow night. He, I mean, he's lying in bed through the whole thing. But, I mean, he, I, uh, I, I've been talking to him on a couple of occasions, quite a few occasions, actually. And this last time, I, I've been at one to ask him to do one of his things with me. But then I said to him, would you like to do one? And he said, oh, yeah, sure. 
I mean, there yeah. wasn't a doubt in his mind. And so we did it. And uh, I think people will enjoy it. I really enjoy it. That's tomorrow night. Uh, but anyway, have a, yourself a nice Thanksgiving, and probably we'll see you uh, here in the same space, uh, you know. Tuesday. I, I'm going to do my Tuesday. best to get that GoFundMe up again. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as I speak with the people at GoFundMe or mm -hmm. they communicate back to me, yeah. I'll ask what I needed to do to, to make this thing work. Right. Okay. We'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Ladies care. and gentlemen, that's Phil Meyer. Thank you, Phil. Thank you very much for calling. And now it's time to start bringing in our citizen panel. Uh, and we've only got two people here right now, so we'll, uh, uh, we'll bring them in and uh, we'll bring, see what's happening. Uh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh uh, let me see here. I got to move to here. There we go. All righty. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hi. Uh, By the way, the Republicans started the steel dossier. They started it. They started Hillary it? only picked up funding it after the Republicans decided to drop it later. Why Why did they start it? You got to ask the Republicans. Oh, That's really? what happened. You can Google it. The oh. Republicans I initiated thought, yeah. the steel dossier. Yeah, I thought it was Hillary and when she was running. Nope. No? No? Okay. Well, anyways, how are you doing there, uh, Brian? I'm good. Yeah. I told you after coronavirus, it's just the three of us. What? Go. Wow. <laughs> I told you it's only going to be the three of us. Oh, good. We got Robert. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. After, after yeah. coronavirus and everyone's busy doing stuff, it's just going to be the three of us. Yeah. Well, they got a big alert over there now in uh, in New Jersey, and yep. uh, we we're 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 not doing well here. We're up to 45 dead. However, they don't say where the dead are, and I don't mm. think they're in New York City. Uh, New York City is still pretty clean. There's a there's a little speck of yellow up at the top of Manhattan, about oh maybe 10, 15 blocks away from us here. But uh, 162 dead in Texas today. Really? Oh yeah. boy. When is your governor ever going to learn? He's never going to learn. He still doesn't. Th he probably still thinks it's a hoax. Oh. Some people Speaking are. Speaking of hoaxes, yeah. that was an interesting interview. What with uh, with uh, with uh, Phil? Yes. Interesting in what way? It, that was a hoax. What was a? That whole interview was a hoax. Let's let's. I mean, I thought listening to Newsmax was was kind of bizarre, but Phil's pretty close. He has Biden doing Pfizer warrants. Of course, Biden's not in a position to execute a yeah, Pfizer I was, warrant. But uh, uh, I tried to tell why, him that. But why yeah. let facts stand in the way of a good story? Well, you see, the thing is, I, I I've got to I've got to uh, uh, Ambalek Hernandez. Who is this Ambalek? Están hablando aquí los americanos. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Who is this? He's a bummer. It's I am. Mm-hmm. Well, He's a bummer. Uh, I think we'll get rid of him. It's not John Larkin. Hmm? No, it's not John Larkin. How is John? Has anybody heard from him? Remember, he had shingles, and then That's the last we haven't really part. seen him. Uh, uh, John Larkin had shingles. I yeah. think we saw him last week, didn't we? I don't no. think we've seen him for a little bit. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Well, oh, he's doing okay. Yeah. Um, um, but... Um, uh, let's see if uh, probably other people will call. It's just a matter of time. And I'm tired. Well, th by the time I come to do the show every night, I'm tired. I don't know why. I went to the uh, I went to the dentist today. Th there is a this is a never ending process of doing this implant. You it know. Like it, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, so he put a, a little cap in there, and next time I'm going down, he's going to. Um, mm -hmm. What's he gonna do? He's gonna he's gonna take an impression, and and make me my false tooth that goes in there where the implant is, and then I go back a week later, and all the time this is costing me like seventy bucks in cab fare, yeah, you know, and it's getting to the point where the cab fare is coming to more than the implant, <laughs> you know. They won't cover that. Huh? The last time I did it, God. Uh, uh, which was a couple of years ago with another guy. He did it in about th 
I think, three visits, something like that. You know, so I, I, I give up. Or oh, either that or switch to a dentist that does curbside delivery. You know? That's good. That's good. Too. Yeah. Well, I figure I'm safe going there. I mean, you know, they wear the masks and everything. And if I take a, a car down, you know, I'm, it's pretty safe. Uh, and coming back, I took a I took a cab coming back, and I. But the thing I I the thing about Lyft is that they have some of, some of them have barriers that separate you from the front seat. Okay, others don't. They have the option if they want to do it or not do it. Luckily, the first one that I took today didn't have one of those barriers. But it was a van, and I could sit in the back seat and be at least more than six feet away from the from the front of the car. But and then uh, I took a cab back, and I suddenly realized I've been stupid not taking cabs because they have a barrier. Every one yeah. of them, they've had them for the last you know forty yeah. years to stop people from stabbing them in the back. <laughs> you know. Uh, Stick them up. And, and that has got to be a barrier against COVID, <laughs> you know. So, uh, you know, I just, that's my life. And then, then I got this person reported me for not wearing a mask in my Uber. I mean, my Uber, my Lyft. And I'm going, I got a hold of him. I said, no way, I'm not wearing a mask, you know. Uh, I'm 80 years old. I'm comorbid. You know, and I'm, you know, and so they said, well, we'll take you off the list. They put me on a list. If Ooh. this happened a couple more times, they would not allow me to do business with them anymore. <laughs> I'm going. Uber? Well, Monetized. Yeah, but I mean. It, Lift. Yeah. Lift. But, but it's just, it's it's all ridiculous. And, Welcome to big tech. I, I'll tell you, tech sucks. I just, I've gotten to the point where tech sucks. Uh, the Orwellian world of big tech. You know something, Brian? The, the, I got to tell you, I should ban the use of uh, the backgrounds on Zoom. And the oh, reason really? is, is that they do it. It's so bad, you know, because I can see shadows flinging in and out on the back of you and stuff. And it just doesn't look good. Just a new feature I saw. I figured I'd give it a try. But well, uh, is there a way to do it? While, is there a way to get rid of it while I'm on the air? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just go up to that. Do you have a little green thing up at the top of your screen? It says zoom on it. But yeah, well, error. it says it says you are using. Oh, it says a shield. Enhancing the screen shield. With the, check the screen shield. Yeah, you go yeah, there. Virtual and, background. Yeah, and then there's enhanced encryption. You are connected to Zoom Global Network. Yeah, clip it. clip that. Uh, cl click on that, and then you see it says uh, oh, virtual background. Virtual background. Hold on. Yeah, see, see. I'm, I'm telling all the other people too. This is what you should do too. I don't. I can't stand these things. The only one I can stand is we have a guy who calls our Monday show. Um, Andrew, who, huh? Andrew. Andrew Deutsch. Yeah. He has he, he has a green screen, and if you have a green screen, it's going to look good. What are you going to do? Hang up and then call back. No, don't hang up and call back. Just go up to that green shield and click on it. And what do you get? Uh, again, as the uh, title of this uh, meeting program, you are using enhanced encryption, meeting ID, a bunch of numbers, host, you, mm. invite link. You are connected. To, it has nothing oh. on there indicating anything I can click on oh. to uh, hmm. or tap on to. Oh, uh, I know. Let me click on mine. Let me see here what happens. Yeah, yeah, I, a, I, I get settings. Thing. I get settings is what it says. Yeah. Now, I don't know. You're, you're in, I'm using a Mac, and it may be different for a Mac. I'm using oh, a mine. Mine does the same. Yours does the same? Yeah. Oh, have, you got, have you got Windows? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm using a phone, my uh, oh. Android. So. Oh, yes. I see. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that, that might be it, too. But, you know, it's just I, I, I hate that, that the virtual the set thing. It's just it's icky. <clears throat> it doesn't work right. You want me to hang up and then call back? Huh? Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to turn it off. You may still have it when you come back on. I don't know how you turn it off on your uh, on your iPhone, but there must be a thing there for settings. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I'll try it once and see what happens. Yeah. 
Okay. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. Bye. Yeah. That's. Uh, am I right? I mean, those things are terrible. They really are. Yeah, people's arms cut off and their ears yeah. and his yeah. hair was all it, cut off. It's just <laughs> his the... hair was moving, which was kind of freaky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and especially if you're not well lit. I mean, look at me. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i do it. I'll do it. And I'm well lit. And I'll, oops. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Come here. Oh, God, I hate this. There we go. <laughs> um, that, that, I have something screwed up there, folks. I'm sorry. Let me see here. Here are my background and filters. And then if I do it, watch what happens. Look. Now, mine huh. looks pretty good because my lighting's okay, but, you know, look look the hands. Look. Yeah. See? You wed. Yeah, you, you wed. wedge between your yeah. fingers. Yeah. 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 And uh, here we go. That and uh, that. And, you know, it would be nice if I could use it. I'm here on a holiday vacation and so yeah. on. But it, it's just, it, it just, it, it and, and it's annoying, too. It's just distracting. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, Before we get... Too much into politics, I, Robert. I've been watching that uh, How to. Oh, I, do you like how it? To. Yeah, it's really good. It's how kind, to. kind of it's kind of offbeat, right? It's it's not your yeah. standard comedy. It's a little bit quirky. Yeah, like you said, this guy's been taking notes on his life for years. Yeah, and he's yeah. been taking video for years, and he yeah. puts everything together. It's pretty funny. It did how to split the check, and they end up yeah, yeah, yeah. going to I, a, I a restaurant. Saw. Party with the referees thinking that they're going to split the yeah. two fairly. It was good. <laughs> so it's not so much what he says that's funny, it's what he shoots. Like yeah. Some of the things he shoots are just bizarre. Yeah. Well, why don't you clue us into it? What is this exactly? It's a show I mentioned here about, geez, three weeks ago or so called How To by John Wilson. It's on, I believe, HBO or HBO. Showtime, one or the other. Okay. HBO. And all I can tell you is if, if you're looking for something to make you laugh your ass off, this is not the thing. This is far more subtle and, um, how would you say, sort of offbeat, quirky kind of humor. But it, like I said a minute ago, it's not so much the things he says, but the things he shoots. Like his, he's a filmmaker, mm -hmm. and some of the shots he gets of people doing the craziest goddamn things in New York City are just... They're worth the price of admission. They really are. And there are now all five blend. episodes. Yeah. And so everything blends in with his story he's talking about. And yeah, things yeah, link yeah. up pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I also watched I watched a Belushi. I don't know if anybody watched Belushi the other night. No. That, they had a documentary of that and I'm watching the Reagans also. Uh I yeah, the Reagan thing's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Yeah. Um you know what I don't like about the Reagan thing? They don't mention certain things about him. Like mm -hmm. the fact that he was considered at one point to be a communist early on. Mm -hmm. He was so much to the left that the Democratic Party didn't want to have anything to do with him. And you got, you know, you got you got to be really to the left to get the Democratic Party to not want you, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, and that's why oh there you go. Now you find Brian uh, that's why he went over to the other side, went over to the dark side, you know. But they they left that off. They also left off the fact that he was associated with the Cleveland mob because he was being represented by MCA, which was owned by the Cleveland mob. Who is this? Reagan. Reagan. They oh, left all man. that stuff out. They're trying to say only the nice stuff about Reagan, basically. Of course they are. Huh? Also, I think they're they're saying a lot about how uh, Nancy was, you know, pulling a lot of the strings too. After oh. she started learning a lot of the politics stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, she she was, uh, uh, yeah, she, she definitely was pulling the strings. Cleveland has a mob, huh? Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> no, but they had M MCA in those days. I won't say now, but in those days, was was Cleveland mob run? And he was, his agent was MCA. But they don't mention that. They don't mention about him going to, they hardly showed him, they, I don't think they even showed him at all at the House on American Activities Subcommittee and how he was turning in all his friends and everything like that to save his own ass. You know, I mean, so it's kind of, it, it, it kind of whitewashes his career. 
It, there's a great, great segment in, um, in a book by Chris Matthews um, about Tip and Tip O'Neill's relationship with Reagan. Mm-hmm. And it talks a great deal because Chris Matthews was involved. Yeah. Um, it talks a great deal about the fact that Reagan ran on the promise that he would never raise taxes, but then suddenly he realized that he was short of revenue and he gave Tip O'Neill a call and Tip O'Neill came to the Oval Office and said, you need me now, don't you? <laughs> because in effect, Reagan couldn't raise taxes unless he had Tip O'Neill standing beside him and agreeing that this was the way to go. Wow. And so in effect, he had to, you know, kind of turn tail and kiss Tip O'Neill's ass in order to do what he had to do. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I never liked Reagan. And, and he, uh, you know, I considered him, he, he sold out. He, oh, here's what one of the things he did. He sold out um, the a- uh, Screen Actors Guild uh, by allowing, see, in those days, if you were an agent, you couldn't uh, make television shows and movies and things like that because you were representing talent. And so you couldn't then go ahead and also run the ways that talent would be used. Okay? So there were always rules against that. He got the rule thrown out at SAG so his pal, Lou Wasserman, over at MCA, could make TV shows with their talent. Okay? And uh, a lot of the deals that he got in the early, like the GE Theater thing, that was all set up by Lou Wasserman, produced by by Review Studios, which was Universal's uh, uh, television arm, and they owned Universal. It he was just a terrible person, and none of that comes out in this in this documentary. You know, it talks about Wasserman, but it talks about how he got it so Wasserman could do such and such, and that's why Wasserman looked out for him. But it didn't say anything about the fact that. It was something that sold SAG up the creek, literally. And he was the president of the union. Ridiculous. Yeah. What are we going to say? So anyway. So listen, uh, how, how are you all doing with, uh, with uh, what's going on? You know something? I, I tonight, I finally had it. Um, I was in the bathroom or something. I was listening to the audio from MSNBC. Marjorie had it on. I am so sick of MSNBC. I can't stand it. You know, it's the same old thing. Come on, it's over with now. Okay? No more bitching. No more moaning. You know? Goodbye, Trump. But, I mean, they're still going at it. You know, they're still making a big deal. About, oh, and he wouldn't let them do this, and he wouldn't help. And now, but, but now Biden is getting all the help he needs. Okay? He's getting the money from the GSA. He's getting uh, uh, the daily. Br- he's going to get the daily briefings starting tomorrow. You know, enough griping already. It's time to move on to other stuff. But no, they won't. They'll be bitching about this and bitching about Trump. They'll be bitching about Trump after he's gone. They probably will be. Yeah. Let's see what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. You know, and 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 uh, I got to tell you, I was talking. Who was I talking to the other day? where we both kind of agreed that it was, in fact, uh, people like MSNBC who made Trump in the first place. <laughs> you know, because to fill time and because he gave them endless hours of, uh, of, of, of comedy, uh, they kept to run everything he would do. They would, if he ran a speech or the last election, if he suddenly was giving a speech somewhere, they'd run the whole goddamn speech. He didn't have to. Pay, he didn't have to pay anything for advertising. He was getting it all for free. Yeah, I went to Fox for a little bit to see what they were talking about. Yeah, they were talking about churches are still closed while strip clubs allowed to reopen in California. <laughs> this lady was talking, and they had a they had some pastor there and stuff. And they're saying how ridiculous that was. Well, I'll tell you why, <laughs> uh, and and it's a good reason why why the churches are being forced to close, but the strip clubs are still open. You can't jerk off to Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what he's Wait, let me. Now, am yeah. I am I wrong about that? 
I mean, not exa- if not you exactly, yeah. that is unless of course he's your type. Um, um, Write that down. I can't. Jer- you yeah, can't jerk right. off to Jesus. Memo. It, it's, there's and, no accounting for taste. And if you can jerk off to Jesus, then I think you got a problem. I do with Pornhub. Someone dressed like Jesus is fine enough. Yeah, just like yeah. you know Martin Luther did with the practicing in your Christianity in your own home and practice yeah. jerking off to him in your own home too. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I just, I just think that it's, it's all. Come on, it's time now to move on to other stuff. You know, uh, and and uh, I'm sorry, guys, and MSNBC, but Biden isn't going to be the news item that Trump was every day. You're going to go have to get your news somewhere else, okay? Because Biden is just simply going to be doing his job. And I know that isn't sexy, but you can jerk off to it. You know. There you go. I- I'm going to respectfully disagree. Okay. Uh, you've got a president who's got electors coming to the White House. Oh, yeah. Hopes that he can turn their votes around. I'm glad somebody's on the case. I really yeah, am. Yeah, oh, yeah, but 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 that's also behind us. That's sto- I mean, I'm talking about today. I heard this stuff, and I'm, they're just repeating all the same stuff over and over and over again. You know, there's no new news here. Yes, Charlie. Well, I mean, it's it's still not over yet until the electors actually vote. When they meet on December 14th and they vote Trump in, it won't be over. Well, they're not going to vote Trump in. Well, I hope not. I mean, anybody here oh. think there's a chance of that? If they vote something, I mean, together. there's the men. There, 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 there are the mechanics to be able to do it, but I don't think it's going to happen. But can I say something though? No, the bad, no, the bad, you can't, you oh, can't okay. say a word. We don't want no. to hear from. No, what? What do you want, Tony? The bad Tony, you know, bad Tony. I used to call myself my alter ego. Bad Tony. Alter, ba- How is that like different bad, from good Tony? Because, remember, do you ever like bad Alex? Like, wouldn't party like to see golf have been in a bizarre world if they actually went through with it? Can you imagine the civil war in the streets we'd have if they said, "Hey, we're giving it to Trump"? Can you imagine the streets would be? Or you'd have like anarchy. I mean, it'd be scary, really. I think it would be. Well, they would be making Trump a dictator if they did it. Yeah, yeah, there'd be people out in the streets. Well, That's what all these NRA people say they have their guns for. You know, if I were like the people in Georgia, I would be really pissed off at uh, Trump right now because he's trying to make them go through a, th- a second recount. Yeah, I'm talking about a second recount. It's like, you know, you, we do know the uh, the definition of insanity. That's, you know, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome. No, You're right about that, no, yeah. It's not going to change a goddamn thing, and all it's going to do is cost the people of, of Georgia a lot of money. But it's it's like this grand mm-hmm. game of political whack-a-mole. You know, like it's, let's try Georgia. No, that ain't working. Let's try Pennsylvania. No, that ain't working. Let's try Michigan. And, yeah. you know, like any any one of those doesn't do them <clears throat> well, enough. Who, who is a judge in Pennsylvania, I think, who referred to their whole defense as a stitched-up Frankenstein? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. it just was, It's it, you know, but the fact is that, you know, I mean, it, isn't it time to go to other stuff to talk about? You know, I mean, uh, quite frankly, it, to me, the most important story right now is COVID. And the most important part of that whole story is the idiocy of the American public. Do you know mm. that for Thanksgiving, airline travel is at an is it, at a yes. all-time high? Yep. It is. Oh shit! That's and I'm pe- surprised at that. People are lined up in the in the airports. Airport. And, and where are the airlines saying, "Wait a minute, hold on, hold they're on"? In, no, they're, I mean, they're, yeah. and they're adding more plane flights right now. Why? Because yeah. of that. Well, well, where are they going? Okay, now hold off for a second. Yeah. All you people, turn around and go home. We're not gonna we're not gonna book flights anymore. Come on, they're not gonna turn down the money. Come well, on. well, yeah, they're not gonna turn down it. the money, but they're killing the American public. And yeah, and I no. think that that's wrong, you know. It's the yes. insanity, like you said, Alex. They're so selfish. Yes. They can't just hold the hold the meal for a few months. Brian Ludwig. Yes, I agree. I've said it before. It's we live in a selfish country with a bunch of sociopaths. But uh, also, it's second, and that is the most first and foremost the most important thing. Secondly, uh, three things I want to say. That was number one. Number two, um, uh, at least uh, 
Now, the other thing is, with uh, Trump gone, best case scenario, mm -hmm. uh, maybe MSNBC can and, and CNN and all them can actually resort to some form of investigative journalism like they <laughs> yeah i know it's funny it's probably not going to happen they need something they need some other red meat to you know viciously attack upon and it's just ridiculous and uh the third thing is the uh right after the selfishness of the american people i think the second most important thing is the austerity of the response responses we've received from both the uh, our our predatory health care system, mm -hmm. as well as uh, the political austerity we've uh, seen. It's been seven months since we had any form of stimulus, like $1,200 seven months ago. Yeah, was I mean, gonna, that's you know, that's really. Take care of this bullshit, whereas people in Canada are getting like Well, you know, uh, uh, Biden's going to try and do something about that, but still he's got to have Congress and the Senate on his side to be able to do it. So yeah. it's crazy you yeah. said that. And the only What's advantage it? that he has over Trump to get his way is that he used to be one of those guys, and he knows how the game is played. And, you know, he might be able to pull a couple of them aside and say, come on, let, let's break this. You know, the American public need to be taken care of. The states heard, need to be okay. taken care of. And he's certainly, I think, in better shape to be able to do that. I mean, that's the guy who ramrodded uh, 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 Obamacare through the Senate and congress you know so yes brian yeah i just i just thought of something i was listening to uh I forget what program it was on sirius and uh person might have been potus i can't remember but uh person said that um uh, theoretically it's possible that uh kamala harris could preside as the president of the senate as outlined in the constitution she could preside over the senate and you know take away the uh majority leader uh, position privileges that Mitch McConnell enjoys. There's nothing in the Constitution that pre prevents her from doing that. But she can't be the majority leader if it's not the majority. That's yeah. to be 50 50. So who is this idiot on Sirius that said that? Uh, I can't. I can't remember. It was POTUS. I usually listen to the or, progress. Yeah, the well, I, that's. that's uh, who, Whoever said that's a moron. I mean, he did say he did say she wouldn't be the majority leader, but she could basically take over is that that would be at 50 senators each she becomes a tiebreaker yes and she can only vote in the event of the time in that case what's georgia like are they still uh in the midst of uh a runoff there or what yeah yes. january 5th who so they're going to vote again mm -hmm. yes. yes and here's yeah. you know the interesting thing about that is the republican um the Republicans have to fear that Trump is not on the ticket this time. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of people who voted in Georgia showed up for Trump yeah. and also pulled yep. the levers down the line. Yep. How many of those same people with Trump out of the picture are equally stimulated to go and vote for senators? Fingers crossed. We'll see. Mm -hmm. They have to go in person for voting for that way, then, right? There's no mail in or anything I for that. I don't believe so. I believe you that they've al already uh, entertained uh, applications for mail in votes. Oh, really? The thing okay. is, which side will be, you know, more highly motivated? My suspicion right. is the Republicans might might have a problem. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I think the Democrat. I think. Let me put it this way: a lot of the Republicans who went to uh, and voted for that, they're guy as senator, were people who uh, uh, were going there to vote for Trump. Yep. Okay? Yep. Vote for Trump. Now that Trump isn't in the equation, are they going to be motivated to go out and vote for senator? I don't know that that's, a, you know, I think the motivation is going to be on the side of the Democrats here. I do too. Now, yep. I, I think that the, the woman who's running, uh, who is a Republican, I think is in the most jeopardy, uh, and and I can't remember her name now. Leffler. 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 Leffler is in more jeopardy than the other guy uh, on, on the in the other race. But I think the Democrats could take both if they just get in there and hunker down. And you got Stacey Abrams in there, and she's been raising money, and she's been uh, 
She'd been a real force in that state, by the way. You know, she didn't win for governor, but she certainly uh, is winning the race for being an influencer. No question about it. But Purdue's a crook also, the other Republican right. Oh, yeah. 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 So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I hope I hope it come, I hope we can hand uh Biden uh 50 Democrats as senators and then we've got Kamala Harris and anything Kamala Harris wants to do, you know, she's going to be the tiebreaker. And in most cases with the way things have been lately, she's always going to be a tiebreaker even if they're voting on what they're going to have for lunch. Yeah. You know. I don't Turn about as fair play. Yeah, turn about is fair play. So, you know, what the hell? What the hell? Um, so anyway, so Biden has come out with um, uh, his uh, his cabinet. You know, anybody have any feelings on that? Solid people. Solid people. Who, who's this guy? Uh, 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 Blinken? What did you say? Lincoln? A, A. Blinken. Lincoln. No, Remember not he, Abe you know, Lincoln. That's his, his name. Lincoln. His first name is Arturo or something. And oh, his last okay, name so, is Blinken. So it would be Abe, Abe Lincoln. Lincoln. Yeah. Yeah. Abe. And, and his brother's uh, um, uh, Blink, uh, Blinken and Nod. Blinken and Nod. Yeah. <laughs> From a Remember famous when, law firm. Yeah. Uh, Remember when Trump said no, Winken and Nod. Excuse me. Blinken. He's Blinken. Winken, Blinken, and Nod. Yeah. Be a good name. Yeltsin is pretty good for Treasury Secretary. Hmm? I think Yeltsin's pretty good for Treasury Secretary. Oh, yeah. No. CNN showed a good clip. They showed all of those. They sort of tell little stories. I think Don Lemon had it. They they had uh, the cabinet members tell little quick stories, you know, so they sort of cut it up. And then they showed uh, the big table when when uh, Trump did that. And everybody's yeah. saying, Oh, it's so great to work with you. Yeah. And this is going to be great to work for you and your agenda. Yeah, they yeah. just, every all the way down the line, they just kiss Trump's ass while you see Circle everybody. Dark. Yeah, everybody from Biden saying, oh, we're going to help America. We're going to do this for America, for American citizens, nonstop. And then everybody for Trump, oh, thank you so much for having me on your cabinet to meet your agenda. What was it? They, they were saying today that most people who got appointed by Trump to any post in the, in the administration, the first thing they did was write their, uh, their resume <laughs> and have it ready in the drawer. Yeah. Uh, and also a letter of resignation. They yeah. had that in the drawer. Uh, that this was just a horrible situation. Now, I, I was saying to Marjorie, how many of these people today that he announced are going to be in his cabinet will be there four years from now? And I said, probably every one of them, you know? Good number. He's, he's gotten, he's done careful consideration of who he wants for each of these different posts. And, um, you know, he's, he's going to, uh, uh, you know, just, uh, be happy with them and and stick with them and get the job done. Uh, I I don't think here's what we're going to miss, the daily drama. It's also the thing we aren't going to miss is yeah. the daily drama. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Okay, after four years of this, I am just exhausted. If I'm not exhausted by one thing, what I'm really exhausted by is my wife yelling at the TV screen, "Shut up, you son of a bitch." You know, uh, uh, I, I keep trying to tell her that the person on the other end can't hear her. Are you sure she's yelling at the TV screen? Uh, I, I, I'm sitting in here doing some kind of work here, what little work I do for this. And all of a sudden, the other room I hear, shut up, you fucking son of a bitch. He does get under your skin, though, Alex. She's right there. And I'm going, you know. They just can't hear you. Just, so you know, cool it, cool it. <laughs> but um, I, I, you know, I think he's got a good bunch of people there, you know. But what's, I want to get back to the COVID thing because it really irritates the living daylights out of me. Why am I tired tonight? I'm tired every night. I'm tired when I get up in the morning. I don't know what it is. But anyway, so I, uh, uh, I just think that America has got to realize that they've got a real problem here. And the only people that can solve it is the American public. 
And what is this with the, uh, you know, the... Uh, uh, the, the weddings with 7,000 people over in Brooklyn. And what is it with people by the millions getting on airplanes this weekend to go spread COVID throughout the entire country? I don't Brian, understand it. I don't Brian think. Williams last night had on uh, Michael Osterholm, who's now been named to the COVID panel by Biden, which is a great move. And yeah. he showed Michael Osterholm a uh, a radar shot of all the flights that were in the air at that moment over the United States. Now, mind you, this is like about 1130 PM Eastern. Mm -hmm. So you would think that alone would get the East coast a little quieter, but it was enormous amount of planes. And Michael Osterholm said the obvious, he said, not one of the people on those planes is traveling somewhere to isolate. You know, like right. They're, right. they're traveling somewhere to congregate. And he, as a result, says that by Christmas, you're going to see numbers go through the roof. Well, yeah. already 174,000 yeah. cases a day. <sighs> the other news that I found is that all the kids who are playing sports and stuff like that, mm. they're not only getting sick, but they, they get their parents to drive them there stay there, watch the whole dopey game, and then they get sick. I see it firsthand, Jeff. I see it the park by my house. No mask. I was walking around the park in my exercise, no mask. They're playing soccer. It's like there's nothing going on. It's also, just bullshit, really. Well, know. Well, well, you know, I think it's time that this government just said, you know, I'm sorry, airplanes, you're not, not flying. You're not flying over Thanksgiving. People, you want to go to your someplace walk you know i mean this whole thing is just it's getting out of hand and mm -hmm. and uh, it does piss me off that the airlines won't do anything about it they're, they don't do they're not doing anything about it so you know what do we do you know what i think alex mm -hmm. here's another thing i was going to ask you do you think there's going to be a pushback on these people even wanting to take the vaccine yeah you know, I'm, people, like, I'm not taking it because you know i don't trust it exactly because well, you need seventy percent of the people to take it. Well, let me ask. The, let me ask the people Rubin. here. How many of you here would, at this point, as my doctor Ruben Stephen tells me to take it, he, he goes to your hospital. He, uh, I told him I'm taking it as soon as he has it in his office, and he says it's okay. I'm going. Guy, seventy years old, practice in medicine. How about you, me. Brian? You do it, right? Uh, yeah, Sorry. after you guys take it. The, yeah. Well, I, what I, I, I said to Marjorie tonight back was to me like, is <laughs> that that we are third in line to get the COVID te uh, vaccine because first are first responders. Second are seniors in assisted living facilities. And then third is us. And I said, by the time it gets to us, if we see that the seniors in the assisted living facilities haven't died from it, okay, where, yeah. where, where where's the needle? Yeah. yeah. Well, come on the show and say, no, 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 there's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. Can you imagine I take it? Oh, you know, time. you know, as soon as soon as the vaccine thing starts, you're going to have somebody like, who was that cunt from television? Uh, uh, what's her name? Who who was the, the anti-vaxxer? You remember? Uh, she's on, She has a show on Sirius. Oh, what's like, her name again? Oh, Ryan McCarthy? Kevin, can he, yeah, yeah. McCarthy. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know she had a show on. Sirius. Oh yeah, <laughs> Sirius will hire anybody. Anyway, you know, but we'll but, fire anybody. <laughs> and, I'm, fire and, anybody. and I'm yeah. proof of that. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, Jenny McCarthy is the anti-vaxer. I'm yeah. I'm waiting for the first day. She says, "Don't do this. It's going to rot your brain. It's a, a plot on the part of the government to uh, sub subjugate you." You know. No. I'm In surprised case, he hadn't said something would you already. Know? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> He's an anti-vaxxer, but you'll get a boob job. Y yeah. <laughs> you get a few. Oh, I just... Let me put silicone in my mouth. Tell your bush on camera, point. too. <laughs> which oh. he has done. Yeah. Yes, yes, Brian. Well, yeah, I was just going to say uh, uh, two things. One, uh, the uh, you mentioned about the airports um, not flying, rather walking mm -hmm. and not driving either, but on flying uh couldn't uh, i guess the biden administration couldn't biden um <clears throat> shut down the airports the way bush did junior yeah. did 
post 9-11? That's the one. And the other two, on a more lighthearted note, dovetailing with what Tony said about her getting the boob job, she's also shown her push on camera, too. So, there, consider the source. Exactly. I mean, who's going to go for her for any type of advice? Who? Who are you, who are you talking about? Jenny, Jenny McCarthy. Oh, Jenny McCarthy. A lot oh, of yeah. People. No. A lot of people. AKA, see you next Tuesday, as you called it. Well, I mean, she caused a big problem in this country. She started this whole, yeah. and it made this anti-vaxxing thing very popular. Yeah. And kids were getting sick and dying and everything, all because of Jenny McCarthy. And then Sirius goes out and hires her. Come I wonder on. what they pay this bird brain, Alex. I have no idea. More than me. More than me, I'll tell you that right now. I would vomit if I were you, because... When you were at your heyday, she don't even she has no talent to do any of this. Does Listen, make you sick most of the people they hire now at Sirius XM have no talent for the job. And the only reason they keep the job is because there's no such thing as ratings at oh, Sirius are. XM. They can't rate it. Okay? Uh, uh, unless they judge by the online, but if you go by satellite service, no, they can't. And wait, so wait, somebody like Jenny McCarthy might be there. I was there for almost 10 years, and nobody knew what my ratings were. Seriously, know? there's no ratings for for that kind of service. None whatsoever? No, no. Not surveys? They nothing? tried one once, and I did yeah. okay. I did okay. Uh, but they, 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 it, 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 they can't because with um, um, it's just impossible to do it. Yeah. You know, Oops. I mean... Uh, the only thing they can do is they can check their online and they can right. tell how many people are li like right now. I know how many people are watching this show right. at this very right. moment. OK, right. because it's online. But their right. their <clears throat> satellite presence, they can't tell you how many people are listening to any given person. They can tell how many people are listening or tuned into the to the service, but not show by show i'm guessing no they can't yes. even tell how many people are tuned into the service. really they don't even know they might just have one person who uses their serious all day no long oh shit yeah they don't they don't they don't have any way of knowing okay wow. they only have only their internet presence can they know how many people are listening to what right and that's not really a a, a good indication of who's popular and who isn't popular you know huh so decision making is based on whim. I mean, oh yeah, no question really? about it. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, uh, you know, uh, and and uh, it, I just it's just it, it, it. There's a lot of things about satellite, those satellites. I mean, do you realize they're yesterday's technology? They really are, and they're still you know, selling stock based on the fact they got these uh, satellites up there rusting away. Yeah. You know, and, and by the way, delivery by satellite is not as good as delivery by Internet. No, it's not. I can't get serious in my basement, but I can get over-the-air radio, yeah. for example. Yeah. Uh, you can get a antenna to put outside your house and then run it into your basement. Yeah. That'll work. But the thing is, try uh, try what I did once. I want I, I had my car and I, I rented a car in California and had Sirius in it. And I of course worked for Sirius at the time, so I wanted to listen to Sirius, being loyal to my my Uber lords. And um, I'm driving through the redwoods. Mm -hmm. Try getting satellite radio in yeah. the redwoods. <clears throat> Impossible. You know, do you, and do you, by the way, do you know that in every major city of the United States, you can't get it either? You can't get it in New York City. You know how you get it in your in car Manhattan, in New York City? Yeah. They have what they call repeaters. Yeah. They have F, uh, literally broadcast FCC regulated repeaters. That's how they how they get uh, into the there, big cities. There was there was a thing among my friends and I where it came to serious. We all were running this game, and it worked time and time again. What we would do is we would uh, call up Sirius and we would cancel our subscription. This is back when I was listening to mm -hmm. you. In yeah, fact, I know what happened. And, and they said to me, well, why are you leaving? And I said, because I can't afford it. And they, they would say, well, what can you afford? Huh. And they would actually negotiate the price lower. My friend was getting Sirius for like three or four bucks a month. 
You want to hear something and even more? Today I went and bought a couple of pairs of jeans because I'm, I'm, I'm gaining a little few pounds. I just want to get a larger pair of jeans at The Gap. I ordered them from The Gap online. And as I'm signing out, they said, would you like to see some special offers? So I said yes, and I looked, and one was something I didn't want. And then the next one was Sirius XM. Six months. Guess for how much? 30 bucks. Huh? 30 bucks. Try again. Well, no, shit. 15 bucks. Try again. Oh, my God. $10? Keep going. It's free. No, no. it wasn't free. Six Fine. months for $1. Oh, <laughs> Smoke. <laughs> what about the seventh month? Huh? That's no, that's, what about the seventh month? <laughs> that's three thousand dollars. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> Brian, that's Your when you do it. But what you style. do is you quit and then you buy another pair of jeans at the gap and get another six months for a dollar. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like call them back and say I can't afford it and see if they yeah. can get another yeah. dollar. <laughs> there you go. Do what Rob did. I, I think that serious in many ways is a big con job for the people who invest in it. You know, mm. it, it's not doesn't exactly, the numbers don't add up, okay? Uh, <clears throat> People have said the same thing about Tesla, too, about the stocks being overvalued. Well, it could be, could be. Although I rode in a Tesla. One of, one of the, the uh, lifts that I took was a Tesla one day. And God, they're cool. Yeah. They've they got this, like, cockpit, you know, the screen. It's this big. In the too bad Elon Musk doesn't think twice about exploiting third world labor, dude power is lithium vehicles well if if, if, if he, somebody's got to <laughs> it's like steve jobs with the and apple you've you've talked about this ad nauseum <laughs> on your program alex on your serious program i remember about the sweatshops and the suicide and that's about those damn iphones being well, made we're, 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 the sweatshops are yeah you're talking about uh, foxconn in uh, in china again welcome yeah. to big tech yeah. now you've become a personal victim of it via lift yeah foxconn uh, the, the the pressure on people at Foxconn was so bad that they started jumping out of the windows at Foxconn because they also no. let them stay there. Okay, they they uh, they managed to make you work for the company store, as it were, and and uh, they uh, they finally had to put up a webbing nets under the thing know. because. You know, people were jumping jump off, it. and they had to commit, prevent it from, prevent, blah, blah, prevent them from committing suicide. So, yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, wow. uh, yeah, we know. I mean, come on, businesses in this country are exploitative. I mean, and, even, that's, and that's why we have the problems we do with this pandemic too. You know what happens uh, though? They start out okay. You know, like uh, what was what was the motto at Google? Did anybody remember? Don't the motto? be evil. Do no evil, right? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what <laughs> happened to that philosophy? No, they dropped the slogan. To their credit, I mean, being really, they, they dropped it. They, really? Yeah, they no longer. They, what like is it six now? Years ago, five years ago, they dropped it. What is it now? Do evil? Yeah, evil's pretty cool. <laughs> evil's cool. <laughs> Path of least resistance. We don't give a fuck. Yeah. That would be my guess as to their new their, their new slogan. Oh yeah. Yeah, it gets. Uh, it, but oh, it, I'm sorry. No, it's uh, the slogan I have for the people I in this neighborhood that I live with. You know, upscale, suburban, blah blah blah. Uh, I would burn a rainforest to heat my home during the uh, winter months to keep me cool. Well, that's their new slogan. You know, I, we got to talk. We ha have to have a realism about the United States. We think very highly of ourselves. Oh God. And and. <laughs> We as a species think too highly of ourselves, but especially here in the United States, you're absolutely correct. Yeah, uh, and, and we are perhaps the most selfish, self-absorbed nation in the world. You know, that's why people aren't wearing masks. I don't want to wear masks because it's too, it's too much trouble to wear masks. It just, I don't like the way it makes me feel. Fuck you. Come on. You know, start having a little soul, Okay. And we don't have it. You're laughing, Robert. Yeah, I'm, an and you're, I'm, you're, an atheist, I'm right, right? right? No. Nope. Huh? <laughs> what? Funny. But am I right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. And 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 I don't know. I, I'm trying to figure out where this selfishness came from because were we always this way? 
No. I would argue we have none. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Robert? Hmm. You know, look, back in World War II, I, I know that's a million years ago, but back in World War II, the message from the White House coordinated and made people think that we were pulling together for a common cause. You had people not eating meat on Mondays or whatever the fuck it was. You had people not using nylon stockings. You had all that sort of cooperative blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah, in order to enhance the war effort. Yeah. Yeah. The president we've had lately during this war has done exactly the opposite. He's divided people and made the simplest task into a political but one way. Well, let me ask another. you this, though. This is the point I'm making. Do you think we, he could have done that if yes. the American public weren't ready to do it? Yes. No, I think he could have. I mean, do you think it's it, he enforced upon them something that isn't in their normal nature? I, I, think I submit have. to you that he actually brought out in them the real evil that was lurking underneath. Mm. Could be, but I think there were enough people that follow him in cult-like fashion mm -hmm. that if he came out in favor of mass, they will listen, they'll always be assholes. I've said that every night on this show, but I think in cult-like fashion, a lot of people would have seen it as the patriotic <laughs> thing to do. The president does it. He's right. Let's follow suit. Mm -hmm. Instead, he made it into a, oh, you. I actually had someone say to me, Oh, you're wearing a mask. You must be a Democrat. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> today, today, Cuomo was actually had a thing up that said, "Wearing a mask is not a political thing." You know, there's nothing political about wearing a mask. He said, but "In fact, in it. fact, he said the CDC says wear a mask." And Biden says, wear a mask. It's the only thing the Trump people and the Biden people agree on. So it's not political. You know. I, yeah, you yeah. know, there's a basic science about this thing. Mm -hmm. And statistics. And just real information that people just ignore. Ignore the obvious answers. You're right, Jeff. Common sense. Easy. Mm. But with all due respect, there's a person who used to call this program, and maybe still does on occasion, who once said, I'll believe in global warming when there are palms, palm trees in my neighborhood. And, you know, I, I, I mean, I guess yeah, I don't the, believe the, the, that the world is round because yeah. I put a ball on the floor in my living room and it didn't roll all the way around the earth. And who, come who, back. Said, who said that? Because I don't remember anybody saying that. No names. It wasn't Phil, was it? No. Oh, oh, OK. Was it the guy with uh, four letters for his first name? No. Huh? No. I know who he's talking about. I know who said it, but I'm not going to say names either. Me neither. No, I'm not saying a name, but he did say it. He said it on several occasions and thought it was clever. Was it Brie? <laughs> <laughs> he already said yes. what we weren't going to say. Yeah. Uh, yeah, true. I just thought I, I was trying to read his emotions, see if he like twitched it or something, and I was going to say, yeah, it was Brie. Yeah. But he's taking his head no, so I guess it wasn't him either. Yeah. yeah palm trees in his neighborhood. Well, by the way, let me mention just something quickly so that you all know. Tomorrow night in the first part of our program, uh, the interview is going to be with Will Durst. Uh, he he. People say to me, "Well, is he better?" No, he's not. But he's not. He's not incapable of holding a really good conversation. And props to him. He wasn't so vain that he minded anybody seeing him this way. And it's it is really it's really it's great, you know. And we're going to do it more. I, I call it. I told him I'm I'm going to bill Medicare because I think it should be considered gabnet therapy. Yeah. Hmm? He's going to take the same view as Shecky, then I guess, huh? What's that? The lying down, the lying down view. Well, that's the only one he can do. Yeah. You know, um, the only guy who hasn't. I mean, well, Shecky has not had a stroke. We should mention that. Okay, mm -hmm. everybody? 
Uh, but uh, um, the, that's tomorrow night. I just wanted to put people a lot to, with a heads up on that so they know. Um, I, uh, I'm i just hoping, you know, I'm just hoping that after Inauguration Day, <clears throat> we probably won't hear much from the president. I don't that, think I don't think Biden's doing any tweeting, you uh, know, and I think he's just going to agree. I think, huh? I disagree. I think Trump's going to be louder. Than no, no, no. I'm not talking about Trump. I'm talking about Biden. Oh, I, oh, I, yeah. I think That's Biden true. will get out of our hair and do his job. OK, or attempt to do his job. I, you know, as to how successful he's going to be. What, what are you saying, Jeffrey? I, I disagree. I, I think part of the job is is he's going to come out there, maybe not every day, but he's going to give you updates on what we've accomplished. Oh, that I'm, I'm sure we'll hear. Accomplished. What we maybe have to change our mind, whatever, uh, rather than the typical Trump bullshit. Yeah. Uh, Brian? Four years. Uh, it's gonna, uh, uh, go ahead, Brian. Anyway, um, well, I'm trying to lose my train of thought here, but uh, I lose it all the time. Oh yeah, you. yeah. Okay, um, I remember. Um, I have a concern regarding Trump in terms of him throwing tantrums, tantrums and whatnot post inauguration, in the sense that if he wanted to, he could screw up both uh, the Democratic. Party and the Republican Party because back in 2000 he ran as a reform candidate and lost the uh, nomination to Pat Buchanan and if he could he could resurrect the Reform Party and have that be the uh, have that be the turd in the punch. Ball. I think I don't think he's going to have another chance at it. Okay, I think he may try, but I don't think he's going to have another chance. Or at, at least it. be like a spokesperson. Yeah, he has he has losers breath now. Once you get losers yeah. breath, you know what what are you saying, Robert? Are you saying he will try? I, I don't. I don't think he can win, but I do think his claiming that he's going to run in 2024 is freezing the party yeah. because the Marco Rubio's, the Ted Cruz's, the Nikki Haley's, the Mike Pence's have got to keep their lip buttoned, you know, like they're not going to cross his voters. And so, so long as he even puts it out there that he's running in 2024, He's freezing his own party. Uh, Brian, quickly. Yeah, it's uh, not unprecedented either. Uh, case in point, the only person, I, the only president I'm aware of who's done this, who did not serve two consecutive terms, Grover Cleveland. He pulled it off. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you mean uh, didn't he then ran again later on and got it back? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Only once has that ever happened. You know. Well, well, look, already hey, a bunch of hey. look who we've got here. We've got uh, Gabnet's poster uh -oh. child. Uh, you can feed a child or you can turn the page. Say yeah. hi. <laughs> yeah. Say hi. Is, is she usually tired this time of night? Is that? Oh, she's playing Roblox. Oh, really? Oh, Roblox. Really? Yes. Stop touching the. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello. You want to be on anymore? Say hello. Hello, Adrian. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, hey, you're boring now. No more. She's such a... <laughs> yeah, but she's, she's, she's adorable. What can I say? You know? Hey, there's our theme song. Look at her. One eye looking at her. Uh, uh, thanks for joining us tonight, everybody. It's going to be a slow week, I think, this week, because it's uh, everybody's on busy on an airplane going to Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. Please don't do that, folks. Thank you to Brian and and Adrian. <laughs> hey, Adrian. that's a that's a, a, a Harpo Marx used to do that. It's, anyway, uh, and it's uh, let me see here. Oh yeah, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you to Brian Ludwig, and thank you to uh, Tony. Why don't you all kind of give us a big wave goodbye, and I'll give you a wave goodbye, too, okay? All right, and, and good night. Good night, uh, Adrian. Bye, everybody. Anyway, that's our, that's our a citizen panel for tonight. Well, I got through it. 
I, I get tired. The other night I wasn't tired. I don't know why. I can't tell you why I'm tired some nights and not tired others. Anyway, we'll be back again tomorrow night. Uh, here's my throat. Uh, at uh, 10, 10.30 Eastern uh, Daylight Time. By the way, we have a sports show on tomorrow night at, uh, at 8.30 Eastern Daylight Time. We'll see you tomorrow night, 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there. And everybody, wear a mask. Good night.